All right, what is up everyone? This is Evan Carthy from EvanCarthy.com. Today we're going to look at crude oil, the futures for it. It is May 24th, 2020, uh, fixed to be May 25th here in about 45 minutes of my time. But uh, yeah, we're going to look at oil real quick. And as you can see what's on the screen now for the continuous futures contract for it, it's just an absolute disgusting chart. I just put that down there to remind myself how disgusting this is. Uh, just crazy going all the way up down all this crap and then down to the negatives when some um, firm hedge fund or whatever went bankrupt that day they got on the wrong side of it but anyways what we have right here is um, after that happened and all that washout and the coronavirus crap and all that kind of stuff now uh, the oil actually has been going back up because there really wasn't anywhere for it to go well I guess it could could continue to go negative since apparently it can but whatever um, so what, what I'm looking for is for this uh, gap up here to come up and be filled. And it looks like it will get filled here sooner rather than later. Uh, it goes from about $36.59 all the way up to about $40.81. So <clears throat> definitely looking for price to creep into the high high 30s, early 40s here, uh, definitely within the next month uh, for more of a long-term um, outlook on oil. But and the only reason why is definitely looking for this for this, uh, for this this gap to get filled. But uh, we'll go down and look down here more to more relevant charts here in the hour chart. You can see her price just crashed down here that day. And then ever since it's been slowly working its way up, you see it's on the hourly chart north of the hour chart. So definitely it is in um, an uptrend, believe it or not, oil is in an uptrend, who would have ever thought it after the past month or so. And uh, so what we're looking at right now, right here, <clears throat> what I have for it is um, we're going to look at the two minute chart here in a second for some other more highly movable trades moving at. But one thing I've been looking at, a book I've been reading recently, is called Trident, A Trading Strategy by Charles Lindsay. And one thing he resonated, which, which I'm going to use uh, moving forward, is looking for these windows of buying opportunities. And one thing that always got me before is when price is coming down in this retracement right here, where do you exactly get in? Sometimes it works perfectly where price bounces off anywhere between the 38% all the way down to the 61.8 and sometimes even down to the 78.6 and then goes up and hits the 127% um, perfectly. But basically what he did, let me draw, let me move this over here real quick. Um, <clears throat> he has these different criterias for stuff and, and basically his setup is just a ABCD trade is it, at the easiest terminology of it is basically what the setup is but um based upon putting the p1 p2 and p3 points right here with the lows p1 high p2 there's a midpoint p3 right here uh put putting those in it right there um i just created a quick sell spreadsheet with some formulas and it spits it out there's a critical price and then there's the entry price and then but the two things i want to focus on right here is called the true universal price and the determinant price so basically what these two are are a couple of different calculations that he uses for it but basically what it does when you spit these three points into it, p1 p2 and p3 is it creates this low and this high up here and what he calls that is the trading window and so when price comes into this we're looking to go long for that and so the reversal for it would be true if price is going uh down where you have the p1 up here and let me just draw arrow P1, P2, P3. So you have P1, P2, P3. So just be in the be in the reverse for it. But one thing I've been trying to do in the past, which I never really figured out how, was to use a higher time frame since that's going to lend more credit and some more power to where the move is going to go and then drill down to the smaller time frames and trade off of that. But I looked at some other different things, never really figured out how to do it. But now I think I found out a way that I'm going to do do moving forward especially you know starting well not tomorrow markets really not open tomorrow here in the u.s it's memorial day um but moving forward choose uh you know starting on tuesday so here in the hourly chart we have we have that based upon let's go back to that real quick right here uh 2962 point we'll say 766 and then uh you know what sorry about that that's um that's for es 500 but we can go ahead and put these in real quick uh just show you how it is right here so right here we have 24.79, so we'll just put that in there, 24.79. One up here is 34, what is that, 34.66. 
Yeah, 3466. And then for the P3 over here, it's a little smaller right here. Uh, 3072. So we have 30.72. So as you see right here, it spits out these two numbers. It has the uh, target for this move, it, if it is going to be moved, which I'm not really worried about right now. Um, but it has the entry, if you look at trend hourly chart, and then critical price, which is something else not worried about right now. Um, but so we have this 3318, which I have about right there. You can see that line going over right there. And 3689, 36, about 89 right there. So what I did was I just drew the rectangle for it. And so for this window, when price comes up in here, we're looking to take longs within this window because the theory behind it is, is this is where there's going to be a lot more momentum moving up, moving up there until it hits the final target. So if this move is going to come up and hit this final target and the target area would be 4059 we'll just draw a black box for that it's going to be up here a little bit 40 about right there it's close enough 4059 now that'd be a target from this hourly move from it not say it's going to be it but what i look for is price to retrace back down at least to the 38 percent line i'm looking for anywhere between the 38 and the 61.8 maybe even sometimes down to 78.6 but definitely sometime within there so fit that criteria using that swing point low swing point high came down and hit that and so that created this box right here so now if we go down into the two minute time frame right here what, what we'd be looking for now is more longs to the upside right here. But what, we, what we'd be waiting for is the P3, which is basically, if you're thinking of it as the A, B, C, D movement, we'd be looking for the C part of it, um, the C part of the move. And so as you can see up here, there, there really hadn't been, there had been a couple of ones right up here, but a uh, couple ones right up here but then it quickly went out of it went went out of it right there so like if you had it and and there's different like entry styles of what he's doing and in and, and things like that so i mean that one would come up there and hit that target for it and stuff like that some of them wouldn't have but basically what what, it, what i'm trying to get to do is keep me on the right side of the trade obviously it's not going to work 100 percent but the goal is to keep you on the right side of the trade so what i'd be looking for right here in the near term for it I would use this swing low down here, 3271, and then just keep drawing it up to the high up here. So if when price comes down and hits the 38% line, assuming this swing high holds up here, then what, what we'd be looking for <coughs> is the uh, entry price. And let me show you how that looks for it right here. So we would go ahead and let me just drag this off screen real quick so I can enter these in real quick. So we have 32.71. The high up there would be, what's that high? 33.76. And we'll just have to make up a C point down here. But we'll say the C point where it turns is about, uh, we'll just say right there, 33.25. And let me drag this back over here real quick. So they have right here. So the target would be, we would be looking for is 34.30, and the entry would be 33.51. Because what he uses for the entry, he just doesn't have a blind entry for what he recommends for it. He makes it to where price comes down, hits one of these levels. He likes to use at least a 50%, and then it rises at least 25% or more. So what this does is it gets you out of those movements where it just goes straight down and destroys your target entry right there, hits your stop loss, and you're out. It keeps you out of those trades right there, which is actually a very good thing, something I should have thought about a long time ago. Um, so basically what we look for right now, the entry is going to be 33.51. Now, again, assuming this is going to be the low down here. So for or the C point or the P3 point. So 33.51 would be about right there. And that is where you'd be looking to get under there. Assuming price comes down here and that's going to be the swing low for the P3 or the C point. Um, assuming that that is what it is. But uh, basically moving forward for the week for crude oil. I just wanted to explain that real quick what I was looking at doing. Now, and um, as far as trading, now crude oil is in a market I trade. I trade the um, ES, Russell, Dow Jones, and NASDAQ. But um, this, this is what I'm looking. It, it fits 
my criteria of the way I've been uh, trading and it's just something I'm looking for. So the main thing is this window right here. So as long as price stays in this window up here and the, re and, and the retracements stay within it, definitely looking at long here in the upcoming week. As you can see, it's quite a big window. Um, it goes all the way down, a long window goes all the way down from about 33.19 up to about 36.89. So moving forward here for this week, um, especially for the short term, looking for upside here in the um, crude crude oil market. And as I mentioned a little bit ago, um, price, I'll go back down to the daily chart right here. Uh, price has been bumping up against this this gap right here as well. So definitely looking forward to this gap. <clears throat> to get into this gap and once it gets in there I expect price to move up pretty quickly um, within a couple of days to a uh, um, couple weeks at the most but again this is daily chart right here to come up here and get this filled up here about $40 around $41 just to get that filled then after that we'll have to see what happens and um, based upon you know what setups I've have presented ourselves and things like that I think as the world economy comes out of that corona crap more and more more people more companies more industries will be using oil more people will be traveling so the demand will go up because there have been um, cuts globally uh, especially with OPEC and uh, so I think that will start being impacted here in the market yeah <clears throat> impact in the market but looking forward for this week right here definitely looking for bullish for oil and especially if we get some of these retracements that solidify somewhere within this box that range from about 33.18 up to about 36.92 um, I'll definitely be looking for longs if I was um, trading this market but short term bullish medium term bullish long term I'm not so sure uh, just have to wait and see until that 41 dollar gap gets filled in oil but that's oil it's a week of march 24th no, it's not march goodness may 24th 2020 be safe out there talk to you soon bye